On January 1st of 2020, California's historic Child Victims Act went into effect, opening a three-year window for survivors of child sexual abuse in California to take legal action against their perpetrator and the institutions that protected their perpetrator, no matter how long ago the abuse occurred. This window closes on December 31st of 2022. Father Milton Walsh worked at two different schools for two years prior to being sent to Rome for doctoral studies. On a break from his doctoral studies in 1984, Father Walsh returned to Novato, where he allegedly sexually abused a boy whose family he had grown close to during his time working at Our Lady of Loretto. The boy's parents discovered the abuse and reported it to Archbishop Quinn of the Archdiocese of San Francisco. The Archbishop allegedly convinced the parents not to involve the police and reassured them that Father Milton T. Walsh would receive treatment. However, a subsequent Archbishop of the Archdiocese, Archbishop Lavada, allowed Father Walsh to remain in ministry even after the victim's aunt wrote a letter to the Archbishop imploring him not to let this man fall through the cracks. By this time, Father Walsh had allegedly already admitted to Archbishop Lovada that he had sexually abused the young boy. In 2002, Father Walsh was arrested on charges of sexual abuse and removed from active ministry. Although Father Walsh admitted to the abuse in a phone call between him and the victim, which was secretly recorded by the Novato police, the charges were dropped due to the statute of limitations. Father Walsh's status as a priest, current whereabouts, and access to children are unknown. If you or anyone you know has been sexually abused by a clergy member in the state of California at any time, contact us confidentially today. You are not alone.